Uh, meanwhile, way over here on the left, the Homergants are making good use of their selves and are just kind of chopping away at these uh, generators here. We'll see if he manages to take this out before he has to retreat. Uh, you can see uh, a little bit of a special attack there from the war boss, wrecking away at these guys. Uh, and it looks like they were just going to take out that generator and then get on out of there. Uh, we got some massive firefight go going on right now. Uh, you can see that the war truck is out and about right now. Just kind of machine gunning away at all of these guys, doing a little bit of damage. Uh, and these guys, the shooter boys here uh, from Holy Hammer, just firing away like crazy. All of them pouring into that war truck and getting on out of there. So a uh, good war truck micro is just uh, is just a hallmark of any really, really good orc player. Uh, I love seeing just, you know, making sure you're loading it, unloading it, making good use of it. Uh, the spore mines here trying to get in on some of this action. Uh, oh, look at that, just charging on in. They're just sick and tired of having these spore mines here, I guess. Uh, but they should really get out of there just to not take too much extra damage. Uh, in the meantime here, it looks like this war truck is just kind of firing away, uh, dropping a little bit of its payload. Hive Tyrant possibly wanting to get in on some of this action, uh, threatening that vehicle a little bit. And it looks like he went ahead and used the Brood Nest ability. Uh, that is something unique to the Hive Tyrant uh, commander. Uh, basically, a Brood Nest allows your units to resupply out in the field. So you can see uh, that Brood Nest just completing right now. Uh, it's quite pleasant looking, I think. Uh, meanwhile, oh, there we have it. The Seismic Roar goes off by the Hive Tyrant once again, knocking back all those gentlemen, killing quite a few models, actually. The remainder of them jumping back in the war truck right there. Uh, Storm Boys charging it in. The Storm Boys have been upgraded to have a knob, and now I can see that the Storm Boys are also uh, researching the improved rocket packs, uh, which upgrades, uh, what the hell is it called? The Bombardier upgrade. It lets them fling one of their units as like a missile, basically. You suicide a unit and throw it at them. Uh, similar to the Chaos Heretics and how they have the Doom Blast, but it's ranged attack instead. Nice! Nice! Look at that. We just had the War Boss uh, using his Now I'm Angry ability to knock back that Hive Tyrant while he was retreating. Almost killing that Hive Tyrant. That was a very smooth move right there. Uh, I see both players uh, this game taking good advantage of having charge on a big heavy unit like the War Boss or the Hive Tyrant. So, ooh, a little bit of a break right now. People are uh, capping some of these points. And by the way, I always hear people complaining about like, oh, abuse or that's imbalanced or that needs to be nerfed. And like, honestly, um, you know, some of those things may be true, but I don't think it prevents you from using game abilities that are designed to be game abilities like that. I think, you know, you always use the best things that you can, especially if you're in a tournament or anything like that. And just look at how good these Storm Boys are, uh, just ripping apart these Hormagons. Uh, throwing one of their members using that Bombardier ability, what the hell is it called again? Bomba Boys, uh, flinging one of their Storm Boys and killing off that entire squad. Hormagons gone now on the retreat. So, as I was saying, I don't necessarily think it's Imba to use abilities that are out there. The only thing I think that is rude is when you use clearly game-breaking bugs. Uh, things like map hacks, drop hacks, stuff like that. But, honestly, if they put it in the game, use it to the best of your ability. If it's abusive, uh, eventually they'll nerf it. So, but it's always important to just use everything. Meanwhile, the Hive Tyrant right now slugging away with the War Boss, kind of epic big beefy guys beating each other up, uh, backed up by this War Truck a little bit. Ooh, and we have a Ravener Brood, uh, second Ravener Brood coming out of the field right now. Double Storm Boys, War Truck, everything is pretty much the same. Uh, but uh, Soom is at a slight disadvantage having just lost that Hormagon squad. And it looks like the Hive Tyrant is moving on in, charging into these guys. Let's see if he's going to do it. No, he doesn't. They all bounce out of his way, uh, jumping at the troops directly behind him, uh, trying their best to put a lot of pressure. Oh, you can see the Bomba Boys being flung all over the place too, uh, trying to hit the retreating troops, or the troops backing up at the very least right there. Uh, still doing a lot of heavy melee damage here. The War Truck really helping out with that. Uh, these guys just charging on in. We'll have to see. Oh! flinging a bomber boy at the hive tyrant in the midst of all of that and now unfortunately they've kind of overextended and really have to retreat here uh there was a nice looking seismic war right there we have a beautiful sink kill right now uh as it looked like that uh hive tyrant just made mincemeat out of uh one of those guys uh could could that have even been the knob maybe anyhow uh, War Boss moving out towards the center, and by the way, we have a Venom Brood on the field right now. Uh, Venom Brood had these little Venom, venom Cannons, basically, and uh, I don't know why Venom Cannons are anti-vehicle, but that's just the way it is in the Warhammer universe. Uh, basically, I consider them like last cannons. They're good against vehicles, uh, maybe really corrosive on metal or something of that effect, but they are the anti-vehicle squad. Uh, definitely purchased as a response to the war truck, kind of being a constant nuisance. And here he goes! He is so angry, just charging on in there, knocking back the Raveners. Uh, just keeping right on going and putting some pressure on these guys. Uh, the Raveners have all been upgraded to have that Devour ability once again. Uh, so they are all ranged right now, just spitting away. And here come the Storm Boys once again, just charging on in, getting on top of everybody. Doesn't uh, throw off the Hive Tyrant too much, so 
Seismic Roar going off. Weird Boy is out here on the battlefield right now. Didn't even mention that. Uh, he's knocking folks back and forth. Uh, the Venom Brood in combination with the Hive Tyrant absolutely wrecking that War Truck. And we have some Warp Vomit coming out on the field amidst all of these guys right now, kind of debuffing this whole army. Uh, the Hive Tyrant has to retreat. Oh, and we have... They're just flinging those uh, Bomber Boys at everybody. And uh, could it be uh, that looks like a Warrior Brood maybe being called in? Yes, it is. Again, the Warrior Brood being dropped in here uh, by Soom. So uh, using one of his global abilities to add an extra unit to the field right now. And they are instantly being upgraded with Adrenal Glands. Uh, that'll give them uh, increased health and stuff, but it'll also increase the health of uh, allied units around them. Uh, increased health. What do I mean? I mean increased attack speed, all that junk. Good stuff. And you can see right now, uh, just absolutely wrecking this poor little weird boy. He doesn't even have time. He was crippling poison, and he's being just jumped on by all these uh, all these warrior broods here. So, uh, looks like the double shooter boy squad here didn't want to have to deal with all that melee, kind of backing up just a little bit. I'm curious as to why the second squad was never upgraded with um, with the uh, big shooters, but eh, you know, to each their own. Raven and Brood now, though, uh, equally matched in firepower, just chopping away at these guys. Oh, look at all the casualties that those Shooter Boys take as a result of that. Uh, the Storm Boys now jumping in right on top of the Warrior Brood, getting engaged in some heavy-looking melee, but the Raveners pop out underneath them all, knocking them all back. And, uh, whoa, there we have it. Oh, God, I love the way the Orcs look when they do that. Uh, flinging another Bomber Boy uh, directly at them. Flinging yet another Bomber Boy, knocking them back while they're retreating, causing them to fall into melee combat even longer, uh, taking out an additional model there. And it looks like just miraculously both Ravener Broods uh, were able to survive that. But uh, definitely really awesome micro use of the Storm Boys in their improved rocket packs right there. Now everyone jumping in on top of these Termagants. They're going to have to get the heck on out of there. And uh, these poor little unupgraded Shooter Boys, they don't care. They're just here to take care of that victory point. Meanwhile, on the far left, the Hive Tyrant is taking care of this position here. Uh, he's just going to have to get on out of there, though. Oh, charging on through, just checking all these guys to the ground, uh, and now using a Seismic Roar as well, so both abilities in combination here. Uh, the Weird Boy kind of waddling around a little awkwardly, not knowing what to do, and uh, this Hive Tyrant is getting a little too close to the Orc base, going to have to get on out of there right now. So, just to review, the score right now is 1-0, to zero, with the blue player having 460, the red player having 100 points left. Uh, just remember that the score the scoreboard is reversed in terms of colors right now. A little bit distracting, I know. It's a known bug. I'm sure it'll get fixed soon. So, uh, it's currently tied 1-1. One to one. That's good. Storm Boys getting on out of there, not wanting to mess with this. Uh, I think while we were covering all of that, the Storm Boys were down here just uh, bashing away at these power generators. Looks like they killed two, left one very wounded, uh, two more being bought right away. And uh, now it looks like Soom, by the way, is researching uh, Tier 3. So he's on his way up to Tier 3 right now. On the northern position, you can see that the Shooter Boys just kind of recapping the map. And uh, more or less, it's an even split right now in terms of map control. Uh, and finally, for the first time, it is 2-1 to one in Holy Hammer's favor. So uh, you can see now uh, dropping down to 456 right now for Soom. Uh, Storm Boys charging in one more time here. This Venom Brood, uh, not the best to <laughs> deal with them. And you can see, again, using those Bomber Boys, just flinging them across. Uh, but the Seismic Roar kind of being the final word in that. Ooh, charging through, getting a little bit distracted by all the Corinthium Columns he was knocking over on the way to those guys, but he still managed to get a single kill there. Uh, and now his attention is turned towards the north. Uh, looks like the Weird Boy has his aim a little bit screwed up here with that Warp Vomit. Didn't quite uh, get all the units he wanted there. Raveners uh, digging around, uh, harassing away at that war boss. Uh, the weird boy pretty confidently standing on top of this hill until a ty hive tyrant shows up behind him, taps him on the shoulder, and he decides it is time to waddle on home in a crazy, delirious manner. Ah, oh, I love orcs. These guys are ridiculous. <laughs> Uh, anyhow, on the northern side here, we can see the Raveners are now just capping away. We've got the war uh, sorry, Warrior Broods are capping away. Raveners are just walking by idly. A little bit of Termagants, a little bit of Venom Brood, and a new War Truck is being brought on the field right now for Holy Hammer. So Holy Hammer, one squad of Shooter Boys remaining, uh, double upgraded Storm Boys, and a single Weird Boy right now. <coughs> Storm Boys chopping on in, uh, doing some damage there. Not bothering to cap the center point, just kind of scaring everybody else away. Uh, trying to intercept maybe the remains of these guys here. Uh, the Hive Tyrant, though, he's in a good position to charge on through. Oh! Knocking everybody to the ground. He don't care. Uh, but he should probably get on out of there right now. And yes, that he will. Uh, he is retreating away for the time being. Uh, the Weird Boy making sure he gets the last word in there. Uh, on the right-hand side, it looks like just kind of redeploying some of his forces here. I uh, have yet to see any Tier 3 units here for Soom. He has saved up a ton of money, though. He definitely has 870 points out there. Uh, we could definitely see uh, either a Carnifex or a Swarm Lord if that's the way he wants to go. But, uh, you know, we'll have to see here. 
Meanwhile, the War Truck is out there right now. War Truck being upgraded with reinforced plating. And uh, it is, once again, 2-1 to one on the victory points right now. So Holy Hammer really needs to take care of business right now. He is at 35 points and counting down. Uh, he is sending in all of his rocket, all of his storm boys right now. He is definitely angry with all of this, but he needs to cap that point. He absolutely has to cap this point right now, or he's risking losing the game. Venom Boy is putting a lot of pressure on that war truck, but now being chased away by the rest of the storm boys. And uh, I bet he's feeling pretty good right now because he's just about to cap this point. But no, unfortunately, way down here on the left hand side, the warrior brood has also decapped this point, meaning it is now one to zero instead of one to one. And he is thus still losing points. Holy Hammer, really, really losing points right now. It is 15 points out there. Uh, it is soon to be uh, two to one if things do not turn up for him. Uh, a lot of fighting going on in the middle, but honestly, none of this matters right now. The game is going to be won right here if he does not cap this point. Uh, there's no way he'll cap the point on the right-hand side. You can see him sending on in with his war truck, trying to come on in, seeing if he can cap it, but it's just too late. Three points, two points left, one point left, and the game goes <laughs> and the game goes to Soom. So congratulations to Soom, our intrepid Tyranid player, Tyranid player, and uh, really well played by Holy Hammer. I think both players had a ton of little cool tricks that they were using throughout that game. Uh, lots of weird micro abilities, lots of uh, good use of charges and weird things like that. So anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed this game once again. I'm I'm Harlequin. Feel free to subscribe if you liked it. Otherwise, I've got forums. I've got Twitter. I've got all that jazz. If you're into all that, check it out. It's all on my channel. Anyhow, good night, good game, good luck.